Good afternoon, everyone. I uh, hope you are all having a wonderful day today. I'm here at Tyler State Park, getting a little break from Texas and experiencing some nature. This place is super cool so far. Really beautiful, a lot of trees, nice trail. <laughs> you guys know at home about uh, like recovery and like that kind of stuff sleep um, but I pay attention to it a lot I wear a whoop uh, it tracks and monitors my heart rate and it gives me my strain scores which is basically how much I'm outputting every day it gives me my recovery which is HRV heart rate variability which is pretty much just the variability in the time between your heartbeat and pretty much the higher the number that is the more prepped and ready your body is to perform. It also measures my sleep, so it tells me how long I was in bed, how long I was actually asleep for, uh, gives me exactly how long I was awake during the night, how much light sleep I had, how much deep sleep, and how much REM sleep I had. And I pay attention to that stuff a lot. I do a lot of things to promote those things. Uh, I wear blue light glasses. I have very consistent sleep and wake times. I take cold showers. I uh, do a lot of meditation, a lot of breath work, like body scanning stuff. But some days I, it just, you don't recover well. Today I had very low recovery. I don't know what my HRV was exactly. So I had an HRV of 94 today, which for me is on the very low end. I think my average is, my average HRV is 124, uh, and my average resting heart rate is 42 beats per minute. Um, and today, or this past night, it tracks your last sleep cycle. And so in that last sleep cycle, my HRV was 94 and my resting heart rate was 50. And it's normally HRV of 124 and a resting heart rate of 42. I don't normally look at the numbers until well into my day. I can normally tell what that score is gonna be right when I wake up, just based on how I'm feeling. And I've noticed on these days where I have low recovery, I'm not as motivated and not as, I'm just a little bit harder to please on days like this. Like on another day, I could totally appreciate this place. Uh, and today I still do appreciate this place. I'm very happy to be out in nature, but yeah, today it's just, it's not, not quite doing it for me. Time to go swimming. Terry, catch. And we're back here live with Tristan Tanner, Terry Robles, Biggerhorn, Erica, and Mikey Chap. We go, we got this craft. Here we go. Oh god, it's terrible. Just, just out here, beautiful Lake Tyler. Yeah, dude, I'll keep vlogging. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I can't do it on my own, but I can do it on Tristan Tanner. No, it's Tanner Tristan. Cause, ah, oh. <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> it was so cold. <laughs> Oh, what? That's crazy. Yeah. Terry, look, it's a fishing house thing. Like it's covered with a hole in the middle. Fish thing on top. Marky, how was the, how was the swimming? It was great, cold but great. There, was, there is a fish on top. Let's see if I can zoom in without looking. Maybe I hit it, that would've been sick. Shout out to my friend Truck for getting me a smoothie. Nectar juice bar, almond butter, banana, agave nectar, cashew milk, pea protein, cacao, yumminess. All right, today got cauliflower, jalapeno, zucchini, onion, got some jasmine rice, buffalo sauce on the top, 
absolutely delicious. I made this a couple days ago, or about a week ago now, and it is absolutely insane. Really clean. Uh, again, I'm using the, the Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. Uh, really clean ingredients, all organic. Um, so I trust that brand. Say hi to Marky Chap. All right, so I gave Marky a couple discs, or Marky got a couple discs from me. He got two gatekeepers. Marky, let's see them. Bottom stamps. They're pretty sick. Jesus. And Lucidex Enforcer. Shout out, Zach. But Marky was looking for some money run gatekeepers. So if you guys want some money run gatekeepers, I still have some left. Can you the long one? Maybe. Those things are so good. They're so good. Okay, review Marky, what do you think of them? They're so good. They're just so good. Is this really looks overstable. Yeah, this is a really beefy one. Yeah, it's stable. Alright Marky, review, compare uh, those gatekeepers to something else you found. Gatekeepers, Emac Truth, gatekeepers fade at the end. Emac Truth just push straight. Back to you Bob. Marky Chap and I are gonna have a little throw off battle here. We're gonna be playing to this basket by the wood. We each have a gatekeeper and a driver. Marky's got the gatekeeper and a lucid X enforcer. I have got gatekeeper and a lucid convict. Marky, you can go ahead and send it off first. You want the horse pit? Yeah. Skipping. Pretty short. Not bad. Tristan Tanner. Park City. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Go Mark your gatekeeper now. No! Miss it. That's pretty good. I'm a birdie. Okay, I'll go any line with this one. Thank you. Not your best effort. Thank you. I still have a chance at throwing in birdie. I got a jump putt. Pretty good run. Marky for the win. Okay, Marky misses putt, so we got to play another hole. Which basket are we going to? Which one? You call it. That one. Left one? Okay. No Mando. Okay. That thing's beefy. It's really beefy. Yeah, it's a tester. Skip roll. We'll more, more of a tester. <laughs> I try to Annie. Yeah, Tristan jump, makes this, he jump wins. Putt this? What? Jump putt? Send it, bub. Alright, it's a putt off with the drivers. Yeah, the gatekeeper's range. Yeah. Can I putt with my gatekeeper? Nope. Mm -hmm. Gotta putt with the driver. Clutch. Oh boy. Can he lose to lefty Tristan? I'm putting with a driver. I just put it with a driver too. Fairway driver. Clutch. We go to another hole. We'll go to that basket. Right of the pole. You gotta you gotta go one to each side. That wasn't horrible. It wasn't <laughs> as bad as it could have been. Is that a Mando? You just have to go once each way. Remember? What? If I missed? What? what if I miss? Oh, actually, no, if I miss first, I can go in in a second. Yeah. That's a great shot. Left side on this one. Got a chance. Oh, I got dropped by the wind a little. Park City. Come on, baby. Oh! oh. <laughs> so close. That was a big old putt. 
Nice pot. Sheesh. All right, we'll go right there. Okay, I like it. Throw higher, it's in. Great That's shot. Two. Two. This is a tough hole for me. You got a forehand. Just don't throw it over the fence. Wow. It's not a tester. Freaking butter. No! Alright, chance to throw it in for me. That's a tester. Mine is. Oh. I thought it I thought it had a chance after it hit. Ah. For the win. I thought the basket might not catch it. All right, congrats. Marky Chap wins the two disc challenge here at the RV park. Woo! I'm so happy. Where, what's your speech? Um, drive fast, take chances. Are you trying to have more ice cream like three weeks? Ice cream like every other day. <laughs> Thank you.